Hey Brats, welcome back to the channel and today we've got two very exciting hookups from PC Cooler. They have sent us a set of five RGB fans. These are PWM fans, so these are different than the last set we reviewed on the channel. These are the kind of fans that are going to be controlled by your motherboard and, and its speed is going to be adjusted based on what your PC needs. If it needs to cool down, it's going to speed these up. If it doesn't need them, it's going to put them in low. That way it's not wasting the life on them. And they also sent us this RGB CPU cooler. So this attaches directly to your CPU. It's got six heat pipes instead of four, which is what I'm running on right now. We got both of these. I'm going to do this one right now. I'm going to save this one for the next video, but we're going to get them both installed, let you see how that process works and check these out. So let's check out their GID66A RGB CPU cooler. Now this does support TDP, 230 watts. It is heavy. I'm surprised at how heavy it is. Okay, so right here, we got all the hardware. We got the wiring, we got the bracket for it. We've got every kind of accessory, nut and socket you can imagine. The one thing they do not include, so you will need some of your own, it looks like. Oh, they do have some, they do have some thermal paste in there. So boom, perfect. I had some just in case, but it looks like they included. That is awesome. All right, I am worried. I'm not even gonna be able to fit this thing in my case. Look at that, that is massive. It's got all the hookups. My God, I'm a little scared of installing this thing to be honest with you. This is this is the big leagues right here. There's a spot on the bottom here we're gonna need to peel that away. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get the install started. I'm sure how that goes. It's got two fans, one on each side. One's gonna be blowing in, one's gonna be blowing out, sucking tons of air through to keep everything cold. This is really nice looking, I'm impressed with this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go show you how to install this. We're gonna get it all set up in ours. I really hope it fits in my case, because if not, we're gonna have to modify the case a bit, but it looks gorgeous, comes with everything you need. I'm excited, let's go get this thing installed. So this is before the install PC running on minimal load. There's no additional windows open besides the recording and OBS and core temp itself. Let's try opening up and watching a video. Seeing a minimum and maximum 30 and 50. We'll try opening some random tabs open up the steam launcher so with the video playing and those three tabs open we're going to try and play the forest we've only gotten up to a max of 54. skip this and go run around and see if we can push this a little harder Gotten up to a max of 56 and now we're going to export a video into 4k okay so now we've made it up to 64 68 65 67 Max load I've seen any core hit is 74%, 76%, 79%. We're multitasking like a beast here. I don't really know what else I can even add to this. And that's gonna be, oh, we saw trying to close that, trying to cancel that is put actually pushing it the hardest. We saw it up in the 90s there on load. All right, and those will be our benchmarks. So we'll come back and we'll test it all against that once we're done with all these installs. saw that we not only got these 120 millimeter fans, these are from PC Cooler brand, they sent these to us. These are RGB PWM fans. These are gonna be controlled by our motherboard. So we're gonna have a full PC Cooler brand set up in ours. I wanna open this thing up and check this out. Let's see what these look like. This company is not messing around with these. These are, these are like serious. The last fans that we installed on the channel were like the cheapest fans you could get on Amazon to check them out. And now we're, we're stepping into some, uh, some big boy PC parts here. So right here, it does include a little remote. It includes all the screws you're gonna need. A battery, probably to keep your settings in case power goes out. Now this right here is your hub. You're gonna plug all your fans into this and then you're gonna run one cable from this to your motherboard to actually control the speed and then one to the power, so from the power supply. Now we've got every kind of cable and adapter you could possibly need. We've got some double stick Velcro tape so we can Velcro this thing anywhere we want in the PC case, whether we want to put it somewhere nice, make it look good. Oh yeah, and that peels off, it's got a nice little logo. I don't know if that lights up. If that lights up, that's going to be a nice touch. It kind of looks like it might. 
And then we got all the fans. They're heavy. They got rubber already on them so that that's gonna help with noise insulation. These should look pretty good in there. I'm pretty excited to see what these are gonna look like. Now, the last one we got, they were a little more gimmicky. They lit up like the whole fan. This is just gonna be the outside of the fan. So it's probably gonna be a little more minimalist setup, a little less crazy looking, but I'm excited. These feel heavy and dense. So I'm excited to see how these run the sound and how they cool the PC. This is five, so you're getting the full setup here. This isn't just a three to replace your front. This is gonna, we're gonna have three in the front, and two exhausting it out the back. I'm excited to go get these all installed and see how these look together. All right, so we're gonna head over to the PC and get all these and show you how to put them in and get our PC looking hopefully pretty awesome. So let's go check that out. So we are trying the final stress test on the PC cooler setup. We've got all five fans installed. We've got the CPU cooler fully installed. We currently are recording through OBS. We're gonna open up a video. If you've never watched pitch meetings, they are pretty hilarious. We're gonna open up some video editing. We're gonna start exporting something in a 4K. Here we are, we're up to, we were up to 70 load for just a moment. So we gotta push harder. We'll open up Oculus. Getting up there, we're getting up to 60% load. We still have not hit 60 degrees. I'll try and open the Adobe Creative Cloud and open Photoshop. That's still exporting the background. That's still playing in the background. We are also recording in the background. There we go. We're up to 77% load. We still have only hit 60 degrees on the third core. We'll try opening Minecraft. Oh, we're up to 90% load. It's probably about as close as we're gonna get. We still, we've hit 62, 61, and 60 on three cores. So we're definitely staying a lot cooler. There we go. There we go. 100% load for a second. Okay, Minecraft, I don't want you in full screen though. All right, we've been able to reach just over 60 on every core except two. Ooh, I can feel it in Minecraft that everything's running hard because it is jittery. We're still not getting much above 60 on any core, which is really good. I feel like this uh, CPU cooler is actually performing better than I expected it to. I think we have proven that this CPU cooler does its job. I think it actually is doing even better than the old swamp cooler I had on it. All right. Count me impressed. All right. So that is all five fans and the CPU cooler fully installed looking good and gorgeous. It is adjustable. We can change through all that. Probably gonna leave it all on rainbow circular. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm not big on changing my RGB. Some people change it up a lot. You totally can, but I usually set it once and just kind of leave it there. So they outperformed the swamp core that was on there. I figured they'd be at least as good, but they outperformed even with all that plastic and everything set up. I guess the two fans creating that wind tunnel just made quite a difference in the cooling. And then the fan at the back is pulling that hot air out immediately. So if you've ever experienced anything with PC cooler, what do you think of it? Do you like your products? I think they work super well. This is definitely gonna be probably the last set of fans I have in this PC before I upgrade and switch to a different one, maybe with some liquid cooling. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But uh, I wanna say thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel, and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nebatebo, Ege Karatash, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.